Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I've recently decided to start controlling my quad cortex with an external MIDI controller and it wasn't the easiest thing in the world to set up so I thought I'd make a video to show you how to do it. The specific MIDI controller I'm using is the Blackstar Live Logic and this is actually my second unit. The first unit actually came faulty where it wasn't able to store the settings that I loaded into it when it was powered off. So let's start by hooking this thing up to the computer and the quad cortex. So first thing you're gonna do is turn it on with this power button and also make sure that it's switched on the mode switch here, it's switched to custom, not patch. So to configure the MIDI commands that your controller is gonna to send to the quad cortex, you're gonna to need to use a software. To get the software, you're gonna to go to this address, uh, which I'll leave in the description, and you're gonna click download Live Logic app. Once you've installed the software, this is what you're gonna see. You're also gonna to need to get the reserved commands list for the quad cortex, which you can find in the manual. And if you don't have a physical copy of the manual, you can just Google Quad Cortex manual and you should be able to get it there. Download the user manual. And here, if you just scroll down to contents, you will see incoming MIDI reserved CC list, page 92. And this has a list of all of the CC values that you will need to program to do certain things on the Quad Cortex. So in terms of setting it up, let me show you what I've done for my own needs and hopefully that will teach you to fish, metaphorically speaking. So the way I wanted to set it up was to have the first three switches here change scenes on the quad cortex, the fourth switch to activate the tuner, and the fifth and sixth switches, the bank shift switches to actually change presets. So let's look at the reserved CC list. So we have scene select here, and we can see CC 43, value zero through seven. So what this tells me is that I need to send CC 43, and for bank A, for example, I would send value zero, for bank B, I would send value one, for bank H, I would send value seven. So let's open the software and start by setting up the scene switches. For the first switch, I wanted to toggle between scene E and scene F, which is my main rhythm and my main rhythm, but with a tighter gate. So the message that we wanna send is 43, as we saw for switching scenes and the on value, let's say that will be my gated, the tighter gate one, that'll be the F scene and F corresponds to zero, one, two, three, four, five. So five is the message we wanna send. And in the off position, I want it to be my regular rhythm tone with not a tight gate. So we wanna send value four. Next up for the second switch, I wanted to activate my lead tone, which is scene G. Um, so again, we send message 43 for scene change. So message six would be scene G. So six is what we wanna send. And I wanna send six in both cases when it's on and off. Basically, whenever I hit the second switch, I always go to my lead tone. For the third switch, I wanna go into my acoustic tone, which is scene H, exactly the same thing. Message 43, I wanna activate seven on and off. Whenever I hit it, I wanna to go to seven. Now for the fourth switch, I actually wanna activate the tuner. And to see how to do it, let's go to the CC reserve list. And over here, we see tuner on off, and that's CC message 45, so We'll put in 45 over here. And for the last two switches, I actually want to make switch five go into my regular preset, the one with the rhythm tone, and switch six to actually take me to a completely different patch. I didn't actually find out how to do this using the CC values, and I've played around with, with it quite a bit. But the thing that worked for me is to actually use the PC message, the actual number here corresponds to patches. So sending zero will take you to your first patch in your entire set of patches. And then my cleaner tone, the other patch is actually patch number one. It's the next patch in the list. So that means I'll have switch six send PC of one to take me to patch number one. Once you're done actually editing uh, what these switches do, you have to press the send values button that's how it sends the actual configuration to your, to your pedal, otherwise it doesn't do anything. So let's click that send button. So now we can actually test it out. And so pressing button one, as you can see, toggles between scenes E and F. Pressing the second switch takes me to scene G, which is my lead tone. Third switch takes me to scene H. And fourth switch toggles the tuner. Switch five takes me to my main rhythm patch and switch six takes me to the clean patch and that's pretty much it. 
Now, as I was saying, the lights are a bit confusing because every time you press these, they just get toggled on and off. So now you can see I'm actually in scene H, but the MIDI controller gives no hint as to as to that fact. So you do have to spend a bit of time getting to know it, practicing a little bit with it so that the LEDs don't distract you and you know exactly what they mean, at least if you set it up the way I did. I hope that has helped you set up your own MIDI control. And if you're interested in my updated Quad Cortex based live rig, then this is the video you want to check out next. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.